Welcome to False Start. I'm your host, Sean Brace. Lots of stuff has happened since the last time we spoke, so let's not waste any time. Let's get right to it. It took Red Bull stuntman Felix Bumgarner over four minutes to free fall from the stratosphere, or roughly one play in the Eagles' loss to the Lions. After the loss, Andy Reid has promised to use the bye week to look at all the Eagles' issues. Jeffrey Lurie expects Reid back by week 15. Despite the mountain of evidence piling up against him, Lance Armstrong still denies taking performance-enhancing drugs during his seven Tour de France wins. Now that takes balls, or in his case, ball. In back-to-back -back nights last week, Rolo Banez and Jason Wirth hit game-winning home runs, prompting Vegas to make the new World Series favorites the 2010 Phillies. Shortly after the loss, Wirth was spotted returning to his cave to hibernate for the winner. Jim Harbaugh didn't take kindly to Giants' Kevin Gilbride, saying defensive end Justin Smith gets away with murder. And you know what? Jim is right. It's ridiculous to think that an NFL player could get away with murder. Texas Rangers president Noel Ryan called into question the timing of Josh Hamilton's decision to quit chewing tobacco before the playoffs. Anti-drug association Dare agreed, changing its slogan to say no to drugs. But if you do ever say yes and then later change your mind back to no, make sure that the timing of your decision is convenient for everyone. And for the first time since 2006, our Philadelphia Phillies missed the postseason. Here's a list of things Phillies fans would rather do than watch the 2012 MLB playoffs. Go out for a romantic dinner with your girlfriend and Pat Burrow. Play Whisper Down the Lane with Chooch and Charlie Manuel. Watch the NHL. Lockout updates. Move furniture with Michael Vick. Clean Andy Reid's mustache after Sloppy Joe night. Wear a Sidney Crosby jersey and grow his mustache. Watch Rocky V. That's it. It's really that bad. Vick received backlash after tweeting a picture that showed a box of milk bones on his dining room table. Vick tried to cover up the tweet by cropping out the dog treats but that just made us look around for other covered up tweets out there. Here's what we found. Every little swallow, every chickadee, every little bird in the tall oak tree. The wise old owl, the big black crow, flop of the wings, singing bo bird, bo rockin' robin, tweet, 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 after Sloppy Joe night. I'm gonna laugh at that f***ing joke no matter what. Mustache after Sloppy Joe night. Say it! F***ing say it! Say it! Clean Andy Reid's mustache. That was my eyebrows. I do wax them. After Sloppy Joe night. I give up. I give up. I f***ing give up.